Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new topic that is data sufficiency. This topic may be asked under verbal reasoning, also under logical reasoning, depending upon the type of question which is asked. So we will take a few questions on this topic to understand this topic better. This video is brought to you by team Anuj Jindal. You can also join our free 20 days RBI grade view video course, the link for which is given below in the description. So before starting with the questions, let's understand the basic concept of these questions and how they are asked in the exam and how we have to solve them. In these questions, you will be given a question. In this question, you have been given a question here and then you will be given a set of data like which will be numbered 1, 2, 3 like this, and further they can be more data. So you have to so you have to take the help of these data and you have to solve the question which is asked in the exam like this in this question the question asked is this. So you have to take the help of these data and you have to solve the question. You have to first take the data individually that is first you have to take data 1 and you have to try to solve the question. If this data is insufficient to solve the question then you have to go on to the next data. Similarly you have to try each and every data individually first and if no data is individually able to solve the question then you can take the help of two or three data together whatever is necessary. So like this you have to solve the questions with the help of these given data. So now we will start with the questions. So the question is, is among A, B, C, D and E, A is second tallest. So there are five people A, B, C, D and E and A is the second tallest and D is immediately taller than the shortest and D is the second last tallest that is it is the immediately taller than the shortest that is it is at the second last number. Who among them is in the middle when they stand according to their height? So the question asked here is who among them is in the middle when they stand according to their heights? Now the data given is E is not the shortest. C is taller than D but shorter than D. A ranks third in height above D when all are arranged according to their heights. Now let's proceed with the solution part. So in the question it was given A is the second tallest and D is immediately taller than the shortest. So if you make a structure like this and there are five, spa five spaces there because there are five people A, B, C, D and E. Now A in the question it is given A is the second tallest. So you can write A here because this is the first place, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth and this is the fifth place. So A is at the second place and it says D is immediately taller than the shortest. So shortest will be the fifth one and D is immediately taller than the shortest that means it is at the fourth number. So D you can write it here. Now you have got this that A is at the second place and D is at the fourth place. Now you have to find out first, third and fifth and basically in the question they have asked who is in the middle when they stand according to their height. So you have to find out the third place. So from the first data it is given E is not the shortest but no further information is given there. So According to data 1 it is saying that E is at not the shortest that means E might be at the third place or first place that because E is not the shortest so it cannot be at the fifth place it cannot be here. So it can be at the third place or first place but no other no further information is given so we cannot find it with the help of data 1 so data 1 is insufficient. Now let's proceed to data 2. So in data 2 is it was said that C is taller than D. C is taller than D but shorter than B. So C is taller than D but it is shorter than B. So we can say that C is taller than D that means C can be, be at this place because it is taller than B. C can be at this place that is this C or C can be at this place because both these places are taller than D. Because these places are first and third and D is at the fourth place. So C can be at the third place also it can be at the first place. But the next statement is says that C is shorter than B. So C is shorter than B means C has to be somewhere like that. But it is shorter than B. So only there are two places left. That means B will be at this place and C will be at this place. Then only C is shorter than B and also taller than B. So data 2 is sufficient and data 2 is actually implying here and we are able to prove data 2 correct by putting C here and B at the first place because now C is taller than D and it is shorter than B. Now the only place left is fifth place that is the shortest one. So E will come here because E is only the left person. 
so the answer which comes out to be it is b a c d and e now in the question they have asked us who is in the middle when they stand according to their height group c is in the middle but we don't have to give the answer of the question we have to just find out which data is sufficient to find out the answer so data 2 is sufficient individually to find out the answer now let's proceed to data number 3 in data 3 it was said that a ranks third in height but in the question it was said, said that a is second tallest so this is wrong a does not rank third in height because in the question it is said a rank a is second tallest so this is wrong so data 3 given is wrong so only data 2 is correct and data 2 is individually sufficient to solve the question so in the options option d is the correct answer which says only second that means only second option only second data is sufficient to solve the question so we have to mark option d as the answer now moving on to the next question which direction is ria facing now we have to find out the direction of ria in which direction is ria facing now the data given here is first if ria turns 225 degree to her right she will face the direction which is exactly opposite to tarun so the data one given is if ria turns 225 degree to her right that is whatever direction she is facing and she have to turn 225 degree to her right that is to her right side then she will be exactly opposite to tarun now the second data given is rani is facing south if she turns 180 degree to her right and 45 degree anti clockwise that is rani who is facing south if she first turns 180 degree to her right that is in the whatever direction she is facing she has to turn 180 degree to her right side and then 45 degree in the anti clockwise direction then she has to turn 45 degree in the anti clockwise direction which is this direction this is anti clockwise and this is clockwise now she will be exactly in the opposite direction of Rhea. so the second data is rani is facing south if she turns 180 degree to her right and then 45 degree anti-clockwise she will be exactly in the opposite direction of Rhea. now the third data given is Rhea will be in the same direction of tarun if she turns 45 degree so they are saying Rhea will be in the same direction of tarun if Rhea turns 45 degrees to her left to her left side after turning right 90 degree to her right so first she has to turn 90 degree to her right and then she has to turn 45 degree to her left then she will be in the same direction as tarun now let's proceed with the solution so the first data which was given to us said if ria turns 225 degree to her right she will face the direction which is exactly opposite to tarun so if you read this data carefully they are talking about ria turning 225 degrees to her right and then they are saying she will be in exactly opposite direction of Tarun but we don't know what is the direction of Tarun so we cannot find out what will be the direction of Rhea so we cannot use this data this data is not sufficient now the second data says Rani is facing south so they are saying Rani is facing south so we have made these directions north east south and west and Rani is facing south so she Rani is here this is Rani south facing south now it is saying if she turns 180 degree to her right so right side of rani will be west direction because she is facing south then her right side will be west this direction now they are saying if she turns 180 degree to her right that is she has to turn from here to till here 180 degree that is she will face north then and then 45 degrees anti clockwise anti clockwise is this direction so she will come 45 degrees here so she will now face this direction so rani will be here after turning 45 degrees anti clockwise she will be exactly in opposite direction of ria if she is facing northwest then opposite direction of northwest will be this which is southeast so ria will be facing southeast direction so using this data we can find out the direction of dia so this data is sufficient enough to find the direction of dia you can see that we have drawn this diagram also so first rani was facing south she turns 180 degree to her right so she reaches north direction then she turns 45 degree clockwise so she comes at north 
west and rani is facing north west now the data says that rani will be facing exactly opposite to dia so dia will be south east so we have found out the direction of dia that is south east so this data is sufficient to find the direction of dia which was asked in the question now the third data says riya will be in the same direction of tarun if she turns 45 degree to her left after turning 90 degree to her right so you can again read this data it is saying riya will be in the same direction of tarun if she turns 45 degree to her now they are talking about the turning of directions of riya but they are not talking anything about the direction of tarun so we don't know what is the direction of tarun so we cannot use this data to find out the direction of riya so this data is also insufficient so only data second is sufficient so from the options you will see that option b is the correct answer which says only two that is only data second is sufficient to find the direction of riya so only option b will be the correct answer so we'll mark option b as the answer so if you like this lecture you can subscribe to my channel also you can join our telegram group for regular discussions the link for these is given below in the description thank you